What's going on everybody? Welcome to another Zabbix video. This time I will talk about Zabbix and Raspberry Pi and how to measure temperature in a long term on the CPU uh, in case you are testing out different heat sinks, efficiency, how they perform on different load. Then this video will, will be for you. Uh, how Zabbix will be used, it will be used in the context of uh, h saving historical data long term, uh, but like the real temperature data on the fly that will be uh, demonstrated right in the terminal, like in the very moment I uh, kind of like put a new heatsink on the CPU, uh, like a second later we will see how it performs inside the terminal. Let's have a look um, and uh, in Zabbix we will we are having a template, a template which is uh, reading temperature data. Uh, if we go to data collection templates and go to the items then uh, we have uh, this item like uh, in, in my scenario there are four CPU items uh, which will d demonstrate what is the load of every core and then uh, uh, there is a file which actually stores the temperature if I take this data and inside the terminal in the Raspberry Pi print the data on the screen then it prints like five digit number and actually there is a decimal point uh, going on like this is 41 degrees Celsius Celsius and if we look at the temperature data then actually inside the pre-processing there is uh, like adding the, the comma uh, to the number and the outcome of course is stored inside the uh, like database as a decimal data. Uh, this data collection actually runs every two seconds. We will pick up a measurement uh, when we put uh, different heat sinks on the top of Pi. Uh, actually I forgot to show you like uh, this is one dude uh, which we'll do uh, first then another one is uh, sort of like almost like handcrafted uh, using some tools like uh, you, you cannot get such form in the shop I think and then one, another one commercial one is this one uh, I'm sure you have seen that uh, inside the internet so three three different modules mo models of the heatsink and let's uh, start the journey by like stressing out the CPU uh, uh, we will open inside the dashboard the like dashboard which is showing the temperature data here let's set the kiosk mode so now it's kind of beautiful uh, no heatsink is is configured right now here and um, let's uh, inside this small terminal let's open the tmux which allows to keep two terminals at the same time and in one terminal i will put like to show the live temperature we will use this one liner click enter and now it's like showing the temperature all the time every half of second a new measurement and if i put my finger on the cpu click what happens is like it's uh, going to 39 like so i i can pick away some heat with my my finger uh, let's open like um, another uh, terminal here so we have the cpu all the time and now I will do like a little bit, I don't know how to call it. Ah, let's let's start actually with the stress command. And here in one of the terminals, stress CPU and two, like it's some coefficient, how, how much load to put, enter. And what happens, like we see CPU, 30, 43, 45, 47, 48. So the live terminal is reading like, um, it's going up like two, CPU cores or, or, or something like that is um, getting some extra load and the temperature is going up. If I put my finger again on, on the top of CPU then uh, I can take away some heat right now. Let's put even more load here on like stress CPU 4, enter and this is usually like quite a maximum. We can uh, get very very hot like a 
iron uh, we can get the CPU hot by on the Raspberry Pi 4 while using uh, like well stressing stressing out all the CPUs here in in this, this example we can see uh, also inside the graph the temperature is going up and uh, this will be like almost like a base moment when we start to measure does like a heat sink helps in in a, in a situation now when we like 60 degrees celsius the cpu is busy the red line also is going up now i will put my keyboard away and uh, do like an operation uh, with the tools here like take away some like fresh thermopad like peeling off the plastic putting like a thermopad and what's happening with the cpu it's even giving the heat to this dude and uh, go taking away this plastic yeah we don't need that and the first model like is this guy this dude like uh, this is man this was so expensive based on like the performance it per it performs how i don't know good enough <laughs> but not 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 anything like excellent and uh, it, it looks fancy from in a way like and uh, yeah let, let's try to put this like on uh, 64 degrees and uh, yeah don't try this at home like uh, you know i can maybe even harm this board with my like um, you know and three to one and voila it's on and what happens with that uh, CPU now uh, so it, it's going even below 50 and uh, pro probably the question would be like how um, long it can stay in this position because you know the top of the layer will uh, get warm eventually and uh, but um, yeah the the criteria we are doing the stress uh, with the four and uh, it, it seems like surviving or, or, or like somehow yeah living well um, okay that that's enough for this test and I will remove this on the fly I don't know like what happened with that pad the pad remains and now this uh, homemade masterpiece I'm so proud of this thing let's let's explore a little bit dimensions like um, how what is it like it's like um, five centimeters wide and um, also, uh, I don't know, yeah, three or four. Um, and and then the height is also quite crazy. Like if you look on the height, it's three, uh, like almost four centimeters. And then like it's the bottom is a little bit curved. Uh, and uh, then uh, I'm like putting this dude uh, on the top of the CPU and almost like when we think about passive heat sinks, no commercial heat sink can beat this <laughs> like homemade thing. Those like tiny layers, they are so well having so much like uh, options to air go through. And uh, I it's like giving very excellent performance. And let's try to not do a short here and put this dude on the top of the CPU like, like this and it's on giving a little bit pressure and if the previous was uh, it was somewhere 49 like this one was doing 50 49 and, and this huge uh, i don't know how to call it, it it's quite quite a size uh, and uh, <laughs> doing like almost harvesting uh, the all the uh, special angles to to like have as much uh, aluminium as possible like uh, more metal I is better and yeah this is the performance uh, we see 40 43 something um, here we can uh, probably address what's good enough and uh, yeah from my experience 55 was always like uh, not giving any trouble and this is this is almost cold. Uh, it's too good <laughs> to be used in real life. Okay, and the last example, that uh, commercial one, I will remove this dude right now. 
I'm I'm kind of fan of passive uh, passive things, uh, passive cooling, not using the fans. So sorry if you fancy to see a fan in this uh, flow and, and overclocking. That will not happen today. And peeling another fresh pad here on top and giving away. I don't know if it's entertaining or <laughs> and the last one this commercial dude uh, yeah that's uh, it's 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 capabilities to have a it, it can it can have a fan uh, now the the latest revisions are having all the like different RGB colors in the fan and uh, putting this dude uh, it also performs very very well very very well and three to one and it's on and giving a little bit pressure like originally this one is having brackets to stay stay the the cpu in the place but yeah uh, and what we see like it's the cpu is going down probably we can really I don't know. Can we beat the previous one? Uh, I'm um, in a way we can say like it's it's close, but uh, uh, from my point of view, view uh, like that other dude that is performing better. Yeah, that is almost everything I wanted to show you. Like uh, quite entertaining, I think, to like use the bash command to measure the temperature on the fly and uh, save some stats uh, inside the Zabbix. Uh, if you are interested like to spend money on these things, like I have another Pi here not connected to anything. This is how the commercial solution looks like in a full picture. Okay, I will show in the, in the other camera. Uh, that is everything. Uh, so this was the this is the commercial one. Probably there are many more models now who can beat out this uh, performance, but uh, it's a decent option applicable for Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 4. And that is everything. If you find it, I don't know, entertaining, useful, uh, applicable to real life, give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.